100 years of Pentecostal missions has resulted in the greatest evangelism that this world has ever seen. It may surprise you to learn just how successful this movement has been. These 10 countries have the largest population of Christians today. In fact, Christian populations are growing in every region of the world, except for one. This is today's Europe, a lost continent. Fewer than 3% is Christian. In England, the Christian population is declining at an alarming rate. Many people believe that with the death of the present Queen of England, the final ties to England's Christian past will be broken once and for all. But how did this happen? 100 years ago, England was the center of theological training. Leaders from different denominations spearheaded the reforms of the Protestant Church. Early in the century, an army of Pentecostal missionaries took to the darkest reaches of the world. England was home to the world's greatest missionaries, preachers, theologians, and revival movements. But two world wars, a holocaust, the rise of communism, church scandals, and conflicts between Christian groups undermined the foundations of faith. Questions about God devolved into accusations against him. The fertile soil of doubt began to sprout seeds of humanism, agnosticism, and atheism. Today, only a shell of faith in God remains. There's emptiness and unrest. Dissatisfaction rises as younger generations look in vain to humanist philosophies to meet their needs. All authority is suspect and they live to break free by rejecting both civil and religious laws outright. The result has been a deeply secular society, one that seeks to behave as though God does not exist. The younger generations are increasingly committed to living without recognizing God. The university campuses in England are the factories for this secular thought and the target of our mission. Our dream is to reach, teach, and win this student generation for Christ. With their enthusiasm and energy, we want to see new churches planted in university towns that reach the general population, reversing the trends of closing churches and godless generations. Thank you for making our dream possible. We know that it pleases the heart of God to take the light of the gospel into the darkest regions of the world. Thank you for your ongoing commitment to pray and to give so that England and Europe can reconnect with its godly heritage and realize a future full of grace.